guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make this beautiful and super delicious local delicacy, which we call it curry puffs, also known as the curry puffs. Well, these curry puffs are actually known as a very popular cheese and snack among our local community. It's typically made out of potatoes, chicken, curry powder, as well as a special herb called curry leaves. This recipe is so easy to follow and most importantly, it's super delicious. The chemistry between the crispiness of the dough as well as the little bit of spice in the savory filling is just unbelievable. So, let's get started! First of all, prepare the ingredients as follows. Now, you wouldn't believe this, but the secret to the crispy dough is actually the cold butter and the cold ice water. So, make sure your butter and water is cold enough. Now, we're going to make the crispy dough of the puffs. In a clean bowl, combine the flour and the cold butter and mix until you get this crumbly texture. Make a well in the middle and add in your cold ice water. You want to add the cold ice water little by little until the dough is formed. Then, switch to use your hands and gently knead the dough until all the ingredients are just combined. You may add in some water from time to time if necessary to combine the ingredients in the dough. Then, just cover your dough with a clean plastic film and set it aside. Now I'm going to pick some fresh curry leaves that I've planted in my garden. Let's start preparing the fillings. Right, now heat the oil in a pan or a wok. Then add in your shallots and garlic and stir fry for about a minute. green onions and stir fry until fragrant. Next, add in your curry powder and curry paste as well. in about a tablespoon of water and continue stir frying. Then, I throw in some fresh curry leaves that I've just picked just now. About 8 to 10 leaves will do. Oh. How I just wish you could smell the fragrance of the curry right now! Next, add in your diced chicken and continue stir frying. Lastly, 
throw in your diced potatoes. Don't forget to season it with some salt and some sugar. Add in some water and close the lid and let it simmer for about 5 minutes. That's your fillings. Now it's time to wrap some curry pops. Lightly flour the surface and then start dividing your dough into smaller pieces. Now, this recipe used for about 8 to 10 curry pops depending on your size. Take a piece of dough and roll it until it's thin and flat like this. Place your rolled dough into the mold and lightly press on the dough, especially on the edges. Scoop a generous amount of the fillings and place it in the center. I wet my finger with water and then just lightly brush over the edges so that the edges of the dough would seal better when it's wrapped. Fold the mold in half, just like this, and then press on lightly to seal the edges. Just simply tear off the excess of the edges and ta-da! The perfectly shaped curry pop is done! But of course, if you don't have the mold, there's a second method of wrapping the curry pops. The traditional way. First of all, roll your dough out until it's thin and flat, just like the one we did. Then, scoop up a generous amount of the fillings and place it in the center of the dough. Fold your dough in half and gently press down on the edges.
Then, pinch the edges like this, all the way onto the other side to get this beautiful twisted pattern. Finally, let's start frying them. In a pot of hot oil, deep fry them until golden brown. Just look at them. Beautiful golden brown skin with a super crispy texture. And every bite of the curry pup is filled with generous amount of the savory chicken and potatoes fillings. Oh, and the fragrance of the curry is just so irresistible. No wonder it's a popular tea time snack. Try it yourself. It's so delicious and it's so easy to make. If you like my video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more.